Hi there! Today, I'm going to show you how we can add a bit of Visual Basic code to make sure that as we close our workbook, it's going to automatically protect all of our worksheets. I came across this uh, thread on user voice where people were complaining that they had to always remember to make sure that their worksheets were protected after they were done doing their edits and before releasing the final file to their users. But I want to show you how we can make just a few lines of code and make sure that our workbook is always protected when we close it. So first we're going to dive into the Visual Basic environment. We do this by hitting Alt F11. Let's go to this workbook and all of the code in Visual Basic is event driven. So whenever a user initiates an event, such as closing the workbook, we can attach our code to that event. So in this case, we want to use the workbooks before close event. And here we'll add our code. So what we're going to do is we want to start by having a variable. We'll call it WS short for worksheet and let Visual Basic know that the type of variable we want to be working with is a worksheet. Now, for each WS in this workbook, dot worksheets, next. Now, this is known as a loop. We're going to loop through each worksheet in our workbook. And each time we do that, we want to protect the worksheet. That's actually all there is to it. Just these couple of lines of code. Now, as we close it, it's going to automatically protect our work and the worksheets within it. Let's just hit Control S to save. And we see one of the things with using code is that we have to enable the code feature by saving it as a specific type of workbook. So by hitting no to this dialog box, I get this prompt where I'll go and change the type to a macro enabled workbook and hit save. Okay, so I'll close the VB window. And as you can see, right now, my workbook is not protected, so I can do all the changes I want. And when I close it, I hit save, and I'm just going to reopen it. I have to click enable content because macros are per default disabled, at least the first time you open the workbook. Now, my workbook is protected because it automatically protected the worksheet as I was closing down the workbook. I hope you liked what you saw today. I'm going to expand on this the next video by showing how we can add a dialog box to prompt the user whether we want to protect all of the worksheets or not. And I'm going to show how we can also add a password to our protection. So join me for the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.